right, guys. I'm not sure you can see me. The sun's beaming so bright. Hence why I'm frowning. We'll put the shades on, but that's it's not it's not personal, is it? So just thought I'd do a little bit of work whilst I'm here. I was only supposed to do a little flying visit, but the bloody pallet fence fell down on one side and crushed a load of. Don't worry, I'm not using this hardware. That's a bit, that's a bit serious right there. But it broke a load of garlic and it crushed the comfrey. But all is not lost. I'll explain in a second. Hello again. So I didn't want to bore you with all the kind of mending and fixing because there's a lot of cussing and cursing because every time I put the pallet up, the wind blew it down. So you just want to, this is I can't wait to see it gets bigger. But anyway, so another thing I've done is I've yet to bank up all of my potatoes here, as you can see. But I had to cover them up because it, it was definitely bird, like a bird beak had just been pecking at some of the potatoes. I think there's a lot of jackdaws around there, a lot of crows. And I feel like they just sit down and watch me whilst I work throughout the day because it's definitely, I don't think big pigeons are brave enough. I haven't seen them enough around here, but definitely jackdaws. But anyways, um, so I've covered them up with chicken wine. It seemed to be good. Like if you ever look quickly, look, they're sprouting. It's a lot of potatoes are sprouting. But what I might do is bring some, some of the pots into the greenhouse because I know it's nice and toasty in there. Even though there's lots of gaps, but you kind of need gaps. You need some ventilation. Look, look at my lovely gap. Look at my lovely door. I'm proud of this door. Like hear your heart out but yeah all the beds are filled up now all but that one down there you can see full of horse poo old age horse poo look at this stuff lovely and it smells a little hint of horse but it's more earthy and down here you can see i'm not sure you can see i can't i can't see anything but i have more i'm gonna put another row here i did say 10 in my last but i thought that's a bit too much i do have a stupid amount of tomatoes though but I'm going to do another row here and then bank up this. Look at this, check this out, this spud. These are starting to kind of sprout as well too. And then we have like a massive mound here, right about here. And I'm just make it a pyramid and I'm going to put some squash, maybe some melons and stuff like that. So, so yeah, it's coming together. And I'll show you the damage done on the comfrey quickly. Poor guy. It's quite sweet, the bees were still trying to forage for it. We're just like, where's it gone? But look, there's loads of it here. Look, they're never going to run out. There's buttercups, there's foxglove. Oh, foxglove down there too. But yeah, look. Poor guy. But hey, crop and drop. So let me give you a little quick tour of the of the greenhouse. Welcome. So here we have comfrey that fell down so it's quite a big comfrey it's well established so you all know about crop and crop and drop if you don't know about crop and drop have a look at my I put a link at the top top right of the screen and I bought some toms here just to see if they'll be able to hack the heat and yes they can they've been in there for about a good two days now and this has lasted too a little bit broke off last time but my reinforcements have helped it's kind of good this is sturdy I felt like it would have flown away the other day. And another thing, I'm not sure, I'm sure if I mentioned, but that tree, I'm not sure I'm pointing it right, there's a tree down there. Where well, there is it? I can't, there it is. The tree over there has fallen down. Let's have a quick look. Also, there's some thrush living in this, in this shed here. I zoom in. So this big bastard fell over this tree it was there if you can see you see that it broke from there cracked over this tree and then fell down here and you know what it just missed the electrical lines like no joke have a look at the electrical line i've got electric line coming over there i'm not sure if you can see it Ooh, i'm gonna slow down oh and i just stood in thing and it was joy i'm gonna climb it
Right guys, so I'm in the tree. Not very high. I'm not a big fan of heights really. Plus, it feels a bit weird to be standing on such a precarious kind of tree that's hanging out another tree and is dying around me. Rap remix, can I get a remix? I'm sorry, joking. But, but yeah, big old tree. And if I was gonna stay here, I would have chopped this up. The thing is, I wouldn't have chopped up. I would have put off the, some of the, lit, the, the small branches and left the chunk of it, because this is just a nice big, nice big, big habitat for all sorts. All the flora and fauna, isn't it? Yeah, mate, it's big. I'm about, what, maybe 10 foot off the ground now? So yeah, and plus my shoes aren't the best. I need my hiking gear. Like I have hiking gear. I don't have hiking gear, but hey, there's nothing to hold on up there. I need a monkey. And another thing I thought I'd say is that knowing that cedar we're going to be leaving in a couple of months, cedar won't be able to appreciate the fun that we could have on this big, big ass tree here. It's just like the perfect climbing frame right now. So I could take him here, but I don't. He can, he could just about run fast, let alone climb a tree. So, but hey, there's big adventures to come, and we can always try and grow a tree in Uist. As much as the winds are just ridiculous we can always try and grow a big champion tree there. So, challenge accepted, let's do it.